This is an ultrasound study for the evaluation of the fetus as she gave the name Menoria, history of a Menoria <coughs> of one, one month and has come for the evaluation of the fetus and the pregnancy, whether it is intact or not. So up to this point, that we are seeing is a gestational sac, intrauterine gestational sac with uterus measuring 72 centimeters, 7.2 centimeters in length and 4.6 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter. And this sac measures 1.13 centimeters. Now, this is the uterus in longitudinal section. This is the uterus and <coughs> this is the fundus of the uterus. This is the anterior segment, posterior segment of the uterus. This is the cervix of the uterus. And in long axis, we see an intact pregnancy with double decidual reaction uh, and this is also called trophoblastic reaction. Ecogenic rim, which is not broken, is evenly ecogenic and in transfer section I am magnifying to see the internal details of the gestational sac. and a yolk sac is seen within this intrauterine pregnancy. This is the outline of the gestational sac, which is the double decidual reaction intact. This is the yolk sac. This is the gestational sac, and this is the yolk sac within the uterus, within, within the gestational sac. So, yolk sac is seen. The decidual reaction is regular and is seen as an ecogenic rim. Whereas there is small amount of fluid seen with the anterior portion of the gestational sac. This is the gestational sac, this is the yolk sac and this is small amount of fluid surrounding the anterior part of the gestational sac. And this can well represent a very sac bleed. A sign Though the gestational sac is intact with the uh, yolk sac seen as the pregnancy, however, the thin rim of fluid around the sac is perisac bleed. Presently, at the time of ultrasound, the Pregnancy is intact. This is the again I am repeating the gestation. This is the gestational sac with decidual reaction or trophoblastic reaction. It's not broken, it's even normal. And this is the yolk sac, and this is small amount of fluid surrounding the uh, yolk sac, which can well be representative of 